Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here bringing you another jump spots and eight spots and lines of sight video for the map raid. And usually we do two maps per video, but this week we're only going to do one mostly because I had to do this all by myself today. I didn't have any help, so that was hard. I couldn't get as much stuff done as I could um, with someone else. And also because eventually we're just going to have one map by itself because that's how the maps add up to play out. And like after this we have eight more maps being Aftermath, Drone Express, Meltdown, Overflow, Turbine, Yemen, and Plaza. So, um, yeah, those are what's our next, and <laughs> also, um, I'm not gonna be able to make videos all week Health next week, so I can upload by. them, but I have to make them all by the end of Friday this week, so I'm, like, a really hectic with that, and I got, like, a paper to write for school, and I just got all the stuff going, so, we've been talking long enough, let's get right into the video, so, Raid, you know, as I said earlier about myself, I couldn't really find that much for this map, I mean, I don't think there's that much I can find, I think I did a pretty good job, but if you guys do know anything else, make sure you guys tell me below in the comments, because I did leave out an important thing in Hijacked on last week's episode, and I didn't mean to leave it, I actually knew about it, but I forgot to add it in, so that's that, so the first jump spot we got for you right here is you can jump onto this rock and into the window, um, into this building right here, it's another way to get into it instead of going up the stairs, and you can also jump up on this side and up into the window and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure all you guys know that. Now, onto this building, you can jump onto this planner and then jump onto this planner and into the window and take people out camping that way if it works out. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys know that again. But also, I didn't know this for a while. This is a nice little, like, flanking route. You can run back and forth on, like, this ledge side of the map edge thing right here. And this is another way to get around to that building instead of going up the stairs on the other side. And the other thing we got for you over here is you can jump onto this ledge and on this ledge into this building through the window <clears throat> into like this drug room i'm pretty sure that's what it is um <laughs> yeah it's a drug room so you can that's another jump spot pretty obvious now on to a great spot that i'm pretty sure a majority of you guys don't know about and that is it involves the statue over here and you can actually jump onto the statue by jumping onto this rock and jumping onto the statue and you have a great i mean people really don't expect you up there because not a lot of people know about you right now and like when i get up there i get a, a decent amount of kills like eight kills before people start trying to kill you and they don't know where you are and then you gotta jump down and go somewhere and you can jump back up there but it's a great spot you can see all around the middle of the map protect B from the middle and you can also jump onto like this structure thing right here and jump onto the statue as well and just take people out there it's a great spot so hopefully that guy's helped you out now the other spot I got for you is for this building on the pool water side of the map and what you can do is jump onto this ledge and jump onto this ledge which I'm pretty sure you can just jump to from the start I'm not sure though I'm pretty sure you can though and then you jump onto the ledge right there and take people out through the window and then you can jump through the window and then take more people out. But it's a great spot instead of just running around to the back of the, uh, the stairs coming from Seaside where they can have like claymores and beddies and all that good stuff. So it's a great spot and hopefully that helps you out. And the last kind of like spot running route things I got for you. If you guys don't know, you can run around this like under this uh, building I just showed you through this back part instead of going through the middle. And you can also run around the back part of this garage right in this area. And one other thing you guys should know that is kind of important, kind of can help you out, is this tree in the middle of the map, you cannot shoot through it. Um, I've tried millions of times with FMJ when I did the FMJ analysis video, and you can't shoot through it, so I don't know why you can't, but you can't, so that's that. Now, on to some lines of sight. If some people are capping C flag, what you can do is if this uh, this car back here in the garage, you can prone under it, and actually you got a perfect line of sight to the flag, and you can shoot them and take them out. Uh, nice line of sight. Now, for this building over here that people love to camp at, and as well as this, like, head glitching, stair glitch thingy over here that people like to sit at, we got two lines of sight for this. The first for this building, you can jump on this uh, structure thing like you can on for the uh, statue, the alternative, and look over this car. You got a nice line of sight into the window, take him out easily. And the other thing that you can do is run up to this car right here, and you can look through this crack right here. And I'm actually looking through the crack in the gameplay. I don't know why it made me look like I'm wobbling in computer, but you have a nice line of sight at the people at the head glitch there. And you can actually look through the window that's busted out and shoot both enemies in both spots. So that's a nice spot. I'm pretty sure they won't find you, and you'll get a nice easy kill. And on the other side of the map, there's also this building that people like to sit at to try and pick off people in both of those spots. And you can actually, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but you can run on this little area right here, this like flower bed or whatever, which um, not a lot of people know about. The People are starting to get more familiar with it, but yeah, that's that. But what you can do is prone and look between these leaves, and you have a nice line of sight into that window. Um, prefer an assault rifle or sniper, and you got a nice easy kill. As always, now on to this where this jump spot was in the beginning in this building. You, If you can go over here, you have a nice easy look at the water area, the pool, 
and you can approach, uh, you can approach, you can prone, you can crouch, and it's a nice easy alternative instead of looking out the window where people are probably hunting, waiting for you guys to pop out so they can get a nice easy kill on you. And the last spot we got for you is for C, or for people capping C flag, you can jump onto this ledge by the tree over here, and just jump up over the, uh, over the wall and look over, see if someone's there, and if you do, you can throw a nade, you can throw a stun, and you can just run over there and kill them, and you got a nice, easy kill. I've said that way too many times this commentary, I'm not saying that one more time. <laughs> Alright, so, nade spots, um, nade spots on this map, I really couldn't find it any because again i was by myself but really this map is pretty open so there's not really like a nade spot you need you can just like hover over the thing and toss a nade but i do have two for you right here the first being for people that love to camp behind this wall especially in like hard point trying to get into the hard point where this tree area is so what you want to do is jump on top of this hot tub right here go to the edge of where i am right now and then line your vertical crossers up with the line of that dark window right there and then raise your crosser to the bottom of the the bottom crosshair is lined up with the top of the roof and just jump and let your nade fly it'll land right in the middle and take out most of the enemies camping there and the other nade spot i got for you is for this uh another hard point is in here in this uh i don't know the kitchen area what you do is run into this corner over here Again, line the vertical crosshairs up with the second uh, light from the right, and then line the bottom crosshair up with the top of the roof, and just let your nade fly, it'll land right into this area right here, and take them out. And that's only for that like little area right there, that's the only one I could find for that building, because everything was so tight and everything. So yeah, that's all I got for you this episode. Um, wow, um, that was a lot longer just for one map, that's like, okay, whatever, I'm getting sidetracked. Um... Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see a pair of the maps I mentioned earlier, make sure you leave a comment below. And if you don't remember, you can go to the beginning of the video and I mention it. And um, yeah, so you can look forward to a new episode next week. And as always, guys, I'm Sinister Skater, and I'll see you guys on the next video. <gasps> Peace out.